Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited notebook video. Today's video about Seagate Ironwolf 4TB drive. It's a NAS drive and I would like to discuss uh, good, bad and literally ugly about this drive. But before I start, can I please ask you a favor? Please smash that uh, thumbs up. Um, it will help me to promote my, my channel and my videos uh, on YouTube. Also, if you like this or any other videos on my channel, feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my reviews and uh, health and nutrition other videos. Uh, you never know what you may learn from this channel. So, uh, Seagate. I'm not actually sure why I've chosen Seagate, um, but I think it was most affordable, most reasonable option uh, before. Usually um, they directly compete with uh, Western Digital and prices more likely the same. I'm not claiming that Seagate is better than Western Digital or worse. I just had really bad run with uh, Western Digital a long time ago, so I decided to go for Seagate. Um, not for any particular reason, nothing related to this particular drive. Um, again, this drive is different, it doesn't go to desktop, it doesn't go to your external hard drive. These are specifically designed for NAS. NAS is Network Attached Storage for those who don't know. And the performance of those drives um, is really bad and, and the whole idea of um, this drive to be in, environmentally friendly, so not consume much energy, to be uh, big on storage, so they are 4, 8 terabytes and so on. And also they rely on your NAS to aggregate all the communication and also buffer your communication. So this should be just sufficient enough for normal home use. Uh, if you decide to you know, use it for any small business or any other enterprise, I would not recommend those. Go for better options. But this is where the drive stand. It has its place. And this place is basically uh, to store data without any performance or any, I would say, not much of the performance. Let's talk about why would you need NAS. Um, it looks like uh, most of the people store things on the cloud, it's easy, you connect it to the internet, you upload. That is so true, um, but many of us becoming really um, increasingly conscious about security, privacy and so on. So the moment things are leaving your environment, they're going into cloud. No one specifically looking what's in your uh, cloud space, um, but if someone would like to see what's there, it's entirely possible and not as secure as you may believe. Uh, so, if you've got any private stuff or any things that you just don't want to upload to cloud or just not comfortable to upload to cloud or for extra security, redundancy, privacy, speed, I'm not, I'm not sure what reasons are, people are still holding us. I have all my um, DVD collections uh, uh, digitized on NAS, I've got my pictures on NAS, uh, it's becoming uh, part of my, uh, NAS is my Plex server as well, so I do still run NAS, even though it's, it's a bit of waste because it consumes energy, it's working 24 7, but um, it does serve a purpose and when you decided that NAS is something that you would like to go with, you need to decide on drives that go inside and the drives are most important thing. Even though NAS would take care of one drive uh, will die, um, NAS will inform you and, and the data is still there, you're not losing your data, but what drives you go on, gone with are really important. If you need performance as one type of the drive, most likely you may need to go even for SSD or equivalent or maybe higher performance, higher memory drives or faster drives. I chosen this budget drive and also a couple of my friends had the same uh, situation and they chosen this particular drive. Now, this review comes as I have my NAS for four years, it's still working quite well and um, I 
have an opinion about this drive because most of the drives i'm talking about my friends and me statistically if i put it between 60 to 75 percent of those drives failed between three to three and a half year mark only one drive failed after two and a half years why is it important because this drive comes with three year warranty and i'm not sure whether it was timed to fail or designed to have a warranty at its life cycle but only a couple of drives don't didn't fail after three years and it's really upsetting because um you thinking of um in australia depends on a on a us australian dollar ratio and uh, sales and all that, the drive would cost between 160 to 210 dollars. Um, you know, even if you spend it once or three years, still, you expect this drive to last a little bit longer than its warranty period, especially when it fails a month or two months after warranty. So, here I've got another failed drive. Um, so, one of my drives failed with after three year and one month the other drive fail after three year and six months so one and six month after warranty now seagate did not honor that warranty they are sharp on three year exactly mark i think they know what they're doing uh they're not failing them specifically but they did extensive research and development to understand how long they're supposed to last so um I'm not saying that's a negative review, uh, the, the point of this review, if you decide to run with Seagate Ironwall 4 or 8 terabytes, be ready that it may fail um, at the 3 year mark, have your contingency plan and, and, and you know, um, it's a bit nerve wracking when your drive fails on a NAS and my NAS uh, consists of two drives, they mirror one to another. Uh, if one drive fail, it's not a disaster. You know that uh, you still got second drive. But think of this: if you bought NAS and put two drives at the same time, and one fail, the other drive, same edge as this one, yes, they're redundant. But it feels like if other drive fails, you lose everything, and your local shop may not have exactly stock of those drives. And until you get it in, and it takes approximately. 10 to 16 hours to synchronize all four terabytes within NAS, your data or whatever sensitive information you have on your NAS will be vulnerable. So I'm not saying that you need to stock up on those, but and I'm not saying that is a bit drive, and I've got no uh, experience with Western Digital NAS drives, but to review, most of those were fail after three years you may need to stock up at least one spare drive if your data is very sensitive and need to replace drive straight away and also i'll suggest log into into your nas and look at your logs what i noticed two weeks before every drive failed the uh smart smart it's abbreviation do remember what it stands for the smart health drive report was complaining over bed sectors, unrecoverable bed sectors. So if you see your smart diagnostics start complaining about drive failing, I would race straight to local uh, computer shop and buy one of those and start replacing straight away because it's a matter of hours and days until it fails. So here you go guys, it's my report and review of three to four year um, experience with those drives. Four, this particular one is four terabyte Seagate Iron Wolf drive. Uh, they're not good, they're not bad, and you just need to know what to expect. Thank you so much for watching. Greg from Brisbane, Australia. Until next time.